Hey, Living Water family, I want to talk to you for just a few moments, and especially the men of our church, about what it means to be truly a spiritual man. In the book of 1 Corinthians, Paul is addressing some issues that they were having in the church, and he says these words in chapter 2, starting in verse 14. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. The person with the Spirit makes judgments about all things, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. For who has known the mind of the Lord as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Now in this passage, you see really two people that he's addressing here. He's addressing the natural person, the person who has not been born again, who has not been filled with the Spirit of God. And he's also addressing the spiritual person, someone who has been born again. They've entered the kingdom of God. They've come to life. But he goes on in the next chapter, starting in the very first verse, he goes on to describe maybe someone who's in a third category. And this is where I really want to talk about today. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3, it says, Brothers and sisters, I could not address you as people who live by the Spirit, but as people who are still worldly, mere infants in Christ. He says, I gave you milk, not solid food, for you are not yet ready for it. Indeed, you are still not ready. In verse 3, he says, you are still worldly. See, we, we understand here that there's the person who's not yet been born again. Then there's the person who's been born again, the spiritual person. But then there's Christians who should have already grown up by now, but they're still considered worldly. And so I want to talk to us for just a moment because I believe the men of our church, especially in the day that we live in right now, we need to be spiritual men. We need to be men who are growing in our faith in Jesus Christ, men who can be trusted with the meat of God's word because we're growing in faith. A, a worldly Christian that we see here in the book of 1 Corinthians is someone who still is operating worldly, even though they should be operating in a more Christ-like nature. Some of the effects that worldly Christians still operate under are things like jealousy and immorality in the church and a lack of honor for God's word and spiritual leaders. These things show that these are worldly Christians and they're not growing in their Christ-likeness and they're not growing in their witness for Jesus Christ. Listen, you and I have a powerful opportunity. In fact, the Holy Spirit's been given to us so that we can be witnesses of Jesus' power in our lives and we separate ourselves from being worldly. See, growing Christians, the, the true spiritual man, man, they're getting into the Word daily and they're allowing the Holy Spirit to convict and transform them from the inside out. Listen, I believe... What the scripture says is that every Christian is either a conformer or a transformer. Romans chapter 12 verses 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, conformers are living for and living like the world around them. They're only concerned with what they're wearing, how much money they're making, how easy their life is, how great their vacations are. They're, they're motivated by the same things that motivate everybody else. There's no difference to them. But transformers, listen, transformers are people who are daily becoming more like Jesus. And listen, if we're going to be the kind of men that this world needs in this hour, we're going to have to be those who are getting into God's word and allowing God to transform us. Listen, renewing our minds in God's word is the only way that we're going to allow God's power to transform us. So I want you to take this faith word this week. I want you to begin to apply it to your life. Move into this weekend, going to church this week as a transformer, allowing God to use you in powerful ways.